I had a pretty good run competitive seasons. I was number seven. The highest I've ever been. It was like only two days before the, the thing ended. And then I... But I messed up the run one. So I had to get like... I had to stay in the top 20 to get top 100 to get the Matthews. And I played games and I ended up 500 or something. So I didn't get the Matthews, no. Which is very disappointing because now it goes for 400k. And that is out of my budget. But other than that, it's been going pretty good with me. I, I've been winning most of my games. I've been feeling pretty pretty confident most most of the time. So, very, very big news on YouTube. They uh, changed the monetization rule. It was going to be 10,000 views, like, all time. Like, lifetime views. And I was getting very close to there. I think I was only two or 3,000 off. But they changed it to 4,000 hours in the last 12 months and have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. So that's another two to three years before I get that, maybe. I'd say one. That's my goal. But I just don't know if that will happen. At first it stunned me and I was going to think about stop making YouTube. But I wasn't getting money anyways, really. But still, it just is frustrating because I had 50 cents so far, or I right know, yeah, 50 cents so far, and now I won't be able to get any for, f like, forever, and, like, that, that little bit keeps me, like, going. I really am disappointed in, uh, YouTube doing that, but it's fine, so, but make sure you guys subscribe to everyone who's under a thousand to try to help them out and give them motiva motivation to keep going. Because many people are quitting, and, yeah, it sucks. But, let's get past the sad news and stuff, and let's get into the team build. This is what you guys wanted to see. We've got a all-star team lineup here. It is unreal how good this is. So we'll start off with the man himself, Sid the Kid. He is pretty good. He's balanced everywhere. The only thing is that, I don't know, I don't like how everything's even. Bother or not, he has uh, every synergy active, so he's a great player. He's only 130,000 coins right now, which is really, really, really low. I think I made him for like 60, but that was like two weeks ago when he came out, or whatever. Eh, more than that, it was like a month ago when he came out. So... But, like, he, I got five gold collectibles, so I, I didn't have to pay as much. But, yeah. Off to the next two guys. Stamkos and Cooch. Let's address them at the same time. Players that have been on my team for a pretty long time. I played 146 with him and 141 with him. Both been on the same line their entire, like, career. They have 98 speed, and they're just... Unreal cards. Both snipers, that's what I like on the team. And yeah, they've each only cost 40k exactly, so I've got them a while ago. But yeah, really good players. And this is a, a line that's different. I They've been changed a lot, like all the, these people. These are the only people who stay on the team the longest. We got Sakic. He has been here for about 70 games. Oh, 118, never mind. He was said to name these two for the longest time, but I needed to upgrade. He is great, but he's not Sid the Kid, so we had to move him down. He costs only 40000 which is... He got... Mike Madonna also costs 40000 It's very, very common thing with these players. I like to spread out the offense on every single player except for Crosby because I needed him but everyone and then we got Spezza new pickup recently I bought him for 40,000 but he's going for 65 right now so I don't know if that's going to go down or not but I probably wouldn't pay 65,000 for him 
I mean, he's been playing pretty good, but like, I've only played three games with him. But he's been, he scored, I think, twice in one and got a couple assists, so. I don't know. He's not bad. And then the third line is unreal again. We got Sagan with $47,000. Uh, coins, I mean, sorry. Patrick Kane, 39 k And Bergeron needs to be upgraded, but I just don't know who to get instead of him. Because 2S is hard to find. I mean, I could replace him with someone else and then get rid of someone. And then, yeah. Alright. And now the fourth line. We got Zetterberg. You gotta have a Detroit player if you're a Detroit fan. I just you just gotta. And then we got Chittle. He's got 97 speed, 87 faceoffs. So I needed someone with RS and S, and he had two S, and it was perfect. And then Bossy. I probably should move him up. Considering that a fourth liner probably should go for 68,000 coins, but you never know. I don't know if I, I just don't, I don't know about him. He's only got 92 speed and I'm like a little bit more speed for some reason. But yeah, let's get to the defense. Carlson, been on my team for the longest, Um, I think. Yeah, he's hasn't did anything wrong. He's Mr. Perfect out there. You don't notice him doing anything bad, the only thing good. Niedermeyer, I had the regular card, but I got this one and I sold the other one. This player you can't get unless you awarded him. But you can find some defender with either a 2PP, no, or either a P or a PP, and it's fine. But, like, the I think if you don't, no. Yeah, I think some people got some players with 2PP, so you're lucky in this case for this team build. But if not, it's not the best synergy, so it's not too much you're losing. And we got Drew Doughty. Packed him in a competitive seasons pack. Oh, I forgot to say the prices for, I think, a couple of them. This one's 5,000, this one's only 16k, this one's 30, no, 29k, which is a steal for top liner. He can play on anyone's top line. And then Niedermeyer was free, but if you want to get the legend, he's 90,000. But if not, get a person with P, you'd get the protect pucks energy. I don't think there's any players with 2P. That play D or whatever. But second line, we got Ray Bork. I prefer Gonchar, but I need the synergy, so I had to get him. Um, He's 48,000, so relatively cheap for a 91 legend. Dowdy, he's 85k. He's probably the best right defenseman I've used. I just don't want to stack out the first pairing. I mean, Carlson and him are two different players, so you can't really compare them, but he's the best defensive defenseman, but he's not a defensive, so, yeah. And then, I use a lot of offensive demands, just my personal play style. So we got Klingberg and Gostisbehere, both pretty, pretty, really quick defenders. He only can get upgraded, and he plays pretty good by himself. Um... They, uh, Klingberg costs 65000 and Ghost costs eighty k. I got him for, like, forty way back when, and he's only going up. And then for the goalies, I used to run Hashik, but I needed an upgrade, so I got Broder. Broder costs eighty k, and Hashik's only 28000 so he's not a big loss for just sitting as a backup. And then the head coach, you need to have Michael Davidson to fill out the synergies. And yeah, so here's my synergies. We got protect the puck, rocket skates, fine shooting, protect the puck. Wait, no, precision passing, clutch player, locker room leaders, smoky smooth, thread the needle. All of them. And you get to an extra on S and TN. So if you really want to change two players on S or and then one player... Wait, no, two players in TN and one player on S. You can. But 
I like all the players that I have so far. Only well, person I would get is that Matthews if you can. Or maybe a Voracek or maybe one of these players, obviously. But, yep. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm a little sick. Sorry for the lack of uploads a little bit. But, make sure you guys watch the next video. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.